Hello, my name is Lisa Ortuno, and I'm a biologist and a Baha'i. I'd like to talk about how the Baha'i faith has influenced my thinking as a biologist and how the scientific method I've used to employ towards my thinking as a Baha'i. So my faith says that the hidden mysteries of nature can be transferred from the plane of the invisible to the visible. And this is how the act of engaging in science is viewed in the Baha'i faith. It is indeed a sacred act. It is divine. It is this novel way of looking at it that was very attractive to me. And this is especially true given that as I was going through my high school years in college, I was an, an agnostic. I was never able to hold on to the faith that I was exposed to growing up, and therefore I found that science was the way of discovering truths about the world. I still believe that, of course, now I believe that's one of at least two ways of gaining truth and wisdom about the world. So as I continued in graduate school, I learned how to develop new questions or ask novel questions, develop new hypotheses, test them, and apply the scientific method in my discoveries. And it was through the act of writing publications and presenting the information to the scientific community that I was able to take this knowledge again from the invisible plane into the visible. I was always one of those people who was interested in science. And even as a child, I could be found in the creeks overturning rocks and grabbing a hold of frogs and turtles and bringing them home to live in glass jars in my room. As you can see, it continues. So, thinking about my development as a Baha'i, when I became exposed to the faith, as you might imagine, I was a little bit skeptical. And so what I did, because I was trained as a biologist, was I applied the scientific method to the claims of the faith. And I did this for three years. And what I found as a result of it was that my relationships improved. And some of them I've been struggling with. And so this was a real actual scientific result in a lot of ways and I continued to test it and I found that for me that this was the path that I wanted to take. At the same time as I continued learning how to be a person of faith I found there was another transformation that was occurring and that was a growing sense of humility. It's very easy to become overconfident in the ability of science to solve the world's problems. And looking around, of course, we all see that there are huge problems that we face. And so now subscribing to the idea that it's both science and religion together are where we can find sources of knowledge and taking that information and applying it globally with a, a heart that's full of humility is the way that I've learned to live my life. Of course, all the major faiths of the world take a posture or claim that we need to take this posture of humility. Therefore, I am fully confident as a person of faith and a person of science with this humble posture in the ability that together these two can help us deal with these great problems that we have before us. Together, science and religion are the wings of one bird, and together we will advance the human civilization.